Hello to everybody. For some time now, a question has arisen on the internet, and this question was put again and again, a question addressed to all atheists. Okay, so anyway, uh, what proof and evidence, because I know that you've avoided this question, what proof and evidence uh, can you supply, or do you currently have right now, that atheism is accurate and correct? Now, any position that we hold is based on some evidence. Now, you're never going to hear someone say something like I believe the earth is flat because I have a lack of belief that the earth is round. Because I know that you've avoided this question, what proof and evidence uh, can you supply or do you currently have right now that atheism is accurate and correct? Now, I am sorry to be the one who brings the bad news for the atheist community, but I never understood why the rules should not apply to atheism Think about this, the God argument is out there for a very long time, and people who have hold to an atheist position have always brought arguments for their position. Now except the modern YouTube atheist, these people think they are too special to give any uh, arguments for their position. Because I know that you've avoided this question, what proof and evidence uh, can you supply or do you currently have right now? that atheism is accurate and correct. So if atheists do not want to present their own arguments, I'm going to do it for them. And in this series, we're going to analyze one by one the arguments for atheism. Now the most known argument from YouTube is the argument from inconsistent revelations. Now on internet and here on YouTube, you're going to find this argument expressed in two ways. Atheists who are going to try to prove that uh, their inconsistency in a scripture, and atheists who are going to try to prove that there are inconsistency between different scriptures. First, the inconsistency in a scripture. Here I want to bring my personal testimony as a YouTube question that in almost two years of a discussion with YouTube atheists, nobody was ever uh, able to provide me one Bible contradiction, one major Bible contradiction. Still, let's analyze the atheist argument. The atheist argument go a little like this. If the scripture is the revealed word of a perfect God, then the scripture should have no contradiction. But if we find any contradiction, that would mean there is no God. Now for an atheist to hold this position, he must have the same scripture as my belief. He also must have a correct translation and he must logically assert that God had no rational reason to allow his own word to be corrupted. And in the end, everything what the atheist could accomplish is to make me question my own belief, to question my uh, own translation of a scripture, but not that there is no God. Now this argument could also be presented like this. The atheist is going to show you uh, different contradictions between different scriptures, such as the Bible, the Quran, and some other book uh, consider holy. This entire argument could be summarized in one question. Do you know there are other religions? And the normal answer that anyone could give is yeah, so what? Now here we must remember that the truth of the falsity of any kind of claim, a religious claim, a philosophical claim, a scientific claim, has nothing to do, is totally independent on the fact that there are another 1000 theory on the same issue. And also you must remember that you have nothing logically to prove uh, showing that there are contradictions between a correct theory and an incorrect theory. Now dear atheist, I am sorry if you think I misrepresented it, your atheism, but I did that only because the famous YouTube atheists, they refused to uh, present their argument for atheism. Because I know that you've avoided this question, what proof and evidence uh, can you supply or do you currently have right now that atheism is accurate and correct?